my name is Joseph, and I'm back again like a bad penny, and I keep on showing up. So you just bear with me, because we're going to talk about a new painting, or actually it's an old painting, called The Edge of Heaven. It's a uh, 30 by 40 acrylic on canvas. And this is the piece right here. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about it. I have a thing about angels and different kinds of angels. I like good angels, bad angels, all angels of all sorts. And so this is an angel sitting on the edge of heaven. And what she's sitting on is an outreached arm of this uh, invader, uh, which has been uh, encased in, uh, let's say, uh, 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 in rock, you know, like, you know, volcanic rock, stalactite type of stuff. And the only thing that's left of it now is the skeleton showing its ribs cages down in here and and uh, kind of a, uh, uh, maybe a mossy moldiness in this lower regions. And here's other skulls in the background all encased. Uh, here's another one off in here encased in uh, the rock. And of course the skulls go off and back up in here all over the place. And this uh, invader, uh, alien, uh, and the reason I say alien is because there's a similarity to a human being in some ways. It's got this skull and eyes, but where its nose is at is almost as another face. And this other face is very sinister, and this other little face here even has teeth. And then it's got its mouth down below with big sharp fangs and teeth. And in the sky above, we have carrion vultures uh, flying and uh, landing and uh, mountains off in the distance and background. In fact, it's a beautiful day in the edge of heaven. Uh, the weather's nice and sunny. Bobby, in fact, probably about 70 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you another other report later. <laughs> so, this is the edge of heaven. An invading army moving into try to invade heaven, and the powers to be stopped them in, in uh, molten uh, uh, rock. rock. And, uh, in and ages past. What's this? In ages past. In ages past, yes. And this is a young angel. And the reason I say young angel, because the figure has a, a youthful look to it. And uh, sitting... Uh, on the outreached hand, staring back at this uh, monstrous uh, head, skull. Uh, and when I say monstrous, it's monstrous because it's got this very evil uh, uh, look to it. Why is the angel looking at it? Uh, well, she's probably on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> And she decided to go to the worst part of town and sit on the edge of heaven and look back on how things might have happened if the, if they hadn't gotten cased. I mean, heaven could have gotten run, ran over by uh, these, uh, I won't even say demons from hell because I don't know. They may, be, <laughs> they may be aliens from some other dimension. Who knows what they are? But anyway, they were moving in on heaven and they got stopped in their tracks. And uh, I noticed the rib cage is broken on this monster underneath. What's that about? Well, that's you know, rock is heavy. They got crushed. I mean, the invading army was crushed in molten rock, and uh, uh, the flesh melted right off their bones. And. Uh, so actually right here you got a little bit of a, it looks like maybe a spinal column coming up. Uh -huh. And you got the broken rib cages here. And then you got pieces of, uh, uh, well, here, like here, this is another remnants of a, of a hand. Mm -hmm. And here's uh, finger bones with claws on the end of the finger bones. Oh. Uh, there's a... Uh, uh, I could have probably, I should have probably put a few little 
critters in here and gnawing on the remains. I didn't do that. I just had to carry enough in the sky. I could have put a few rats or something like that, but I didn't do that. Uh, I didn't want to make it too gross. Uh, problem is with a painting like this, it's hard to find people who want to hang that on their wall. Sorry about that. <laughs> but it's, I think it's a beautiful painting, and uh, it gives you a lot of thought. Uh, I don't know what else to say about it. Well, can you tell me a little bit more about the angel's wings? They seem a little, little uh, not as straight. Well, they're you know, fluffing around in the wind. Um, I never thought about it not being straight. Uh, I just think about being wind currents are fluffing around. They got the her wings are up. They're not folded back against her back. Ah. They're they're up there, kind of, you know, maybe like keeping her balance. You know, because she's up here on a on a ledge, which is the arm of the. Um, Invader, so uh, you know it's her wings are help keeping her balance. Uh, mm hmm. Can you tell me a little bit more about the carrion birds? The carrion birds are well. Actually, no. I did take those out of uh, this. This is all out of my head, by the way. This painting. Most of the paintings, things I do are out of my head, but I did use uh, National Geographic uh, to uh, find my birds, and uh, used. Uh, so these are in reality. This is an actual, real life vulture. Uh, they're not vulture looking as far as how vulture most think vultures. You know the cartoon and. And uh, uh, coyote, uh, the vultures are always kind of, you know, they got that little tuft around their neck and long, skinny, hairless neck. Well, this is kind of almost like a hawkish like type of vulture. Uh, and uh, of course, there's nothing here that's already been picked clean a long time ago, but the vultures still exist out in this wasteland, uh, which is the edge of heaven. Uh, Well, that's all it all for now. Uh, stay uh, up to date with our latest videos. Make sure that you subscribe to our free YouTube channel by checking the subscription button right below the this video. Well, you have a good day, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Bye bye.